and gentlemen, MLG Pro League Season 3, day number two today. And we're at game number two of the evening so far. It's Elevate going up against Epsilon. Epsilon with the 1 0 lead and host end of the game, so never mind. Yep. Second time the host has ended the game. So. If it was up to me, I would just forfeit somebody. I don't know who I would forfeit. Who would you forfeit? forfit I would forfeit Saints. No, that's no, a lie. I, I would know. forfit Naga. Everybody on Elevate's on the same team, yeah. Naga fan. Naga yep. fan, man. Money one, one. team. I know it's tough. Rust the mania going down. You may one, forget one. who your teammates are. Stay composed. If you're off host, just go by. Yeah, 1-1 one, one in my book. <laughs> I would love for you to be like a, a ref. Just, just like oh, I would be the I would be the best commissioner. We would be... In and out of games like this. Yo, you hear that, John Nelson? He's calling you out, man. Yo, wow. I would just start forfeiting people left and right. I'd be like, wow, yo, you're you. you're 25 seconds late. Worth it. Be on time. Oh, leeway. Yeah, be on time. Snappy. It's like a job. Be on time. On time. I like it. Um, yep, well. just waiting for one player. Just uh, trying to see who we're waiting on. Then, uh... Get this one started. It looks like slacked. Now wait for Royalty. Classic. Ro wait, wait royalties on, royalty, so. royalties on Broadcaster. But whilst we kind of wait, we'll introduce you to the players on both these two teams. Let's start with Epsilon. So look at that exact roster. Of course, Swanee, Nagafen, Remy, and Royalty. And in case you're unfamiliar, of course, Swanee from Europe coming over playing in season three. Royalty, we don't even have a picture of him. So who really knows? He's what so he mysterious. Like. We never He's seen very, him. very mysterious. Now we know what he looks. Take a look at Elevate as well. Plus this squad after the Saints Slack and Classic. Very, very talented, but unfortunately down 1 0 in the series. Heading over to a Riot Search and Destroy's map number two, though. It's going to be on Elevate's host. So they have that going for them. And uh, hopefully everyone actually learns what team they're on and spawns incorrectly. Everyone from Epsilon in the game. Just waiting for Saints to spawn in from Elevate, and all should be good. There he is. Game about to get underway. Fine. This one's going to start up, and they're going to have Elevate on the offensive side of things. They should be able to you know, win these offensive sides. Offense, the favorable side on this map. We saw Denial take a bunch of offensive sides last night against TK. We were able to win that one. Let's see how it fares for Elevate. I'm going to be honest. I'm still a fan of pushing B first round on attack. I, I just really like that strat because it forces the defensive side to just kind of stay true to that push. But it doesn't matter. Very, very quick round. Lots of kills being exchanged. Elevate go 1 0 up. Slack trades the kill over towards that A bomb set. And when uh, Classic and Slack were part of Justice, this is way back. They were a pretty poor SD team. They get Apathy. Pretty poor. They were very poor. They were a pretty poor SD team. They get Apathy and Saints here to work within Search. You know, Saints, a very good SD player. Apathy, he's up and down in this. He has, this is the thing, he has his moments. Where he and then he big, has, he, and he, then he has, has his moments where he'll win you the game, but he also has moments where he'll lose you the game. Right. It's just which apathy you're going to get in such and destroy. I feel like for me, well, let, let me ask you this question. Who is the standout s and player? Because when we talked about it, when the, the team was kind of formed, we, we sat there and we're like, well, do they really have one? Is it just teamwork that they're going to be relying on? Yeah, it's going to be pretty much teamwork. I think Elevate, though, Probably you're gonna say Saints gonna be the S and D player who's gonna be that's so strange best to one say. for the squad. Yeah, why? I don't know. He's always been strong in search. He's always no. He's, I mean, he's great across the board, all game modes. But I just feel it's I don't know, it's just strange. Slack gonna be able to pick up that first blood there on Nagafen with a nade. So they're gonna take the slow approach of taking back a. Elevate wins this one. It's gonna be a big round, Ben. They should be able to go 3-0 if they're able to take this. Classic is going to peak slowly. Unfortunately, falls. Time is ticking. Only 23 seconds. Saints has done well to escape with his life, but again, time is ticking. Someone is going to try and chase a kill that was slacked. After he's up top, but he's not going to be able to find anyone in this round. He is going to be going to Epsilon unless basically plays line up, but they won't. And after the couple of shaky shots there, doesn't matter. 1v1. Bomb's going to blow up. That going to be tied at 1-1. One, one. Nice play from Epsilon. They got in, planted the bomb, they got out, didn't peek unnecessarily, did what they needed to do, win the round. I felt like Swanee and Royalty stayed alive for I mean, Royalty over on the B side of the map, just making his presence known. Swanee over at A, on that A street, just stayed alive forever. We're going to have the boys on Elevate going back on the offensive side of things as Epsilon ties it up. Most likely going to be another A push. How aggressive are they going to be this time? Nate's going to fly over. 
Classic with his bow. One player actually just ran straight out. Classic backed out. Didn't want to shoot. Swanee's got first blood. And Swanee finds the second as well. Three players drop. Four players drop. And that is a huge round right there for Epsilon. Yeah, Epsilon pretty angry after last night's loss. But uh, they were coming out looking like a completely different team here today. They were able to pick up this defensive round with a very strong push. LTA Street. You can see Royalty on your screen. Gonna be able to get one to his left. Sensitivity moves so fast. Not sure if he shot, saw that player or not. Gonna clean him up now. They have the chance to go on the offensive side. This is a big round now. Yeah, and th I mean, they have a chance to kind of distance themselves now. Give them a two round lead would be huge for them. Let's see if they can do it. Do you expect more of the same another A push? Yeah. Kind of what we see every round, standard A pushes. I like B pushes as well, though. Haven't seen too many of them. Double stuns go out, and Swanee picks up another two kills at the start of the round. One on a teammate. One on a teammate, but there's, there you go. there's, there's another the one. See, they, yeah, I'm predicting the future, man. I, I know what Swanee's going to do. Don't even worry about it. Two versus two, though. Props to elevate. Oh, Swanee. He's just a machine right now. Five. Can three. he get the ace? I mean, he's got three this round. He's got four if you include his teammate. He's looking for five. Four including a teammate. Swanee thinks he's playing CSGO. Yeah, trying to pick up the last player here. He's got slacked. Less one alive or elevate. He's got pretty difficult task here going up against Swanee and Nagafen, especially with the way Swanee is shooting here. He's gonna have a gunfight against Nagafen. You see Swanee gonna see Slack cross map, not gonna challenge. He's gonna just dip out. Slack knows he's in trouble, needs to make something happen here shortly. Well, Swanee has him in his sights. There's really nothing he can do. And Swanee, does he get it? I don't know if he got the ace because his teammate was shooting at him as well, but Swanee sprung into action very quickly. We'll see in our round any kill come. I think it was Pope. No, he did. He got it. So Swanee with the ace and a big round coming in from Epsilon. 28 and 2 so far this game. And he was a very talented SD player over in Europe. And we haven't. He's he, always been good. He's always been a good SD player. Even when he's come over here, you're going to see it now, especially here in the start of the Riot game. I mean, 8 and 2. Epsilon wins this defensive side, Ben. They probably run away with this map. Should be game over at that point, but we'll have to wait and see. Elevate. Making their way over towards A. Classic's gonna be carrying that bomb. He's at one and four. Couple of kills already gone down. Remy on Saints, Saints on Royalty. Forces a 3v3. Classic still with the bomb. Edging up towards A. And look at the way that Epsilon have played this. Nagafen being so aggressive with Remy. Kind of working on that duo ship chemistry, but unfortunately, uh, <laughs> Remy left Nagafen out to dry there. You would have liked Remy to go with him and challenge that kill right there. Try and trade that. But Remy elects to go all the way around to the other side of the map. It's going to be a 3v2. Swanee left alive over on A Street for Epsilon. Remy trying to make something happen on the flank. It looks like Swanee's going to have a player challenging him directly to his left here in a second. It's going to see the bomb carry. He's going to dip out. Then it's going to be Apathy coming and trading that kill. Fantastic bait and switch there out of Elevate. Uh, and you can tell this bomb is immediately going to head over towards B. Remy left in the one versus three. He's going to have to try and react. You expect Elevate to win this round on the attacking side, first of all. Remy spots one at the back of the map. Nice shots, but can't clean it up. Got a little shaky toward the end. He's going to be right at the back of the map. He's definitely trying to pick it up. More hit markers come in, uh, and that's just a tad unfortunate for him. However, Elevate do pick up the round, so now just down by one. They need to, though, win a round on defense. I mean, that's, uh, that's exactly what I was going to say. They need to hold kind of serve on defense and win one of these rounds. See, classic one and four for Elevate. He's really the player, though. I mean, you expect him to be up and down. You don't know what you're going to get from game to game out of him. We've gone the other side for Epsilon. If Swanee doesn't have a fantastic start, you know, Royalty struggling here off host. Don't know how this one would fare for Epsilon. Going to stay on board with Swanee <clears throat> at the start. Currently eight and three. Royalty gets that first blood just as we were talking about it. Nice start from him. And Epsilon have just flooded. Elevates base. They have not wasted any time. They're lining up quite literally to go out the door. Swanee's going to spot two players. Call out loud one. Nagafen picks him up. Swanee should challenge the second. Cleans up the kill. Turns around. Oh, oh, nearly got the turn on. Apathy, though, still alive. Managed to get two there. Yeah, and Apathy's just trying to get out of there, trying to stay alive. As you said, picks up two on a four streak. Going up against Remy and Royalty. He's going to get taken out in the middle of jail. So Apathy. No, able to stay alive for a little bit longer, not able to make something happen. It's going to be Epsilon taking a 4-2 lead. And that push from them just completely caught Elevate off guard. They didn't expect that whatsoever. And 
You know, such pressure now on Elevate to win that defensive round. If Epsilon continue to just kind of mix things up on the attacking side and don't really give any anything for Elevate to go off, Epsilon should be able to close out this search and destroy. This round is going to be huge, I think. Fort Elevate, see what they can do on the offensive side of things. I'd like to see a B, B push. push, maybe try and yeah. catch them off guard, but no. You expect it to happen? No. Probably a standard A push, and here you go. You're going to see the A push come out of Elevate. Interesting. Saints playing pretty passive, watching flank, as well as that Slack's going to be top three. They're anticipating the flank to come in, and it is rightfully coming in. It's going to be Nagafen, and I think Saints has spotted him. But I think Nagafen also sees Saints. It's a big gunfight. Nagafen's going to win it. Immediately just turns around, tries to escape. Everyone from Elevate spins around. You see those blue arrows immediately looking towards the flank, but Epsilon, with that pick, basically you say, okay, well, right. we have the first man advantage well, now. Elevate knows how important picking up that kill on Nagafen was. Now that Nagafen gets out of there, and you have no idea where he is on the map. If you're Elevate, that's why you see them moving cautiously. It's going to be Royalty picking up Slack. It's going to be a 4v2 in favor of Epsilon. They should be able to close this one out, Ben. Apathy again in a one versus three. He's trying to make plays, but there's going to be a player in his spawn. Doesn't see him. Nice play from Epsilon. As you said, Matt, maybe a little bit aggrieved that they lost last night. I mean, how close were the games last night? Between Epsilon when they played. They weren't that close, to be honest. Epsilon really? looked kind of, yeah, they looked pretty bad last night. Now, they look like a completely different team today. I mean, they just kind of sat in a call, talked a couple of things through, scrimmed maybe last night and today, maybe try to fix a couple of things, but it seems to be working. Uh, as Epsilon one round away now from going 2-0 up, of course, this would be a win off host as well. Uh, Epsilon not due to host until map number four. Yeah, but to get this 2-0 lead for Epsilon would be huge though. Yeah. Could you see them closing it out in three? You know, potentially, and I would not have seen that coming. Mm. You know, this Elevate team very not talented. Yeah, Every, no. Everyone had Elevate. Well, well, with the performance you saw Epsilon have last night, and with how Elevate, how close they played Optic over the weekend, I mean, you would expect this to be you know, kind of a runaway game for Elevate, but in their first league match, letting this one get out of hand here, Epsilon taking control. They're playing this one very, very slow. Last time on the attacking side, we saw them rush the base, and Elevate kind of also playing it pretty passively. Epsilon gonna run out of time if they don't pick up a first blood, and that's what they're playing for. Looks like a rotation now is in order. Does Swanee see Slack? I don't think he did. Runs through the alarm. There will be a player over towards B. There's gonna be multiple plays. Actually, that kill should be traded. It is. Saints goes down. Now three versus three. Swanee though looks like he's gonna be able to get he's the bomb down right, though. Surely. And he, two players come through cut. They're gonna line up. Not able to finish them off. It's gonna be a one v one. Royalty going up against Classic. There's no way he gets this bomb planted. Think so. No. Oh, oh well. Classic. He's gonna be able to finish him up. Big round. You see bomb goes down. But yeah, big round out of Elevate. I mean, obviously big round. Epson wins that one. It's over, Ben. They stay alive. It's a large round. Elevate, staying alive. Now, they win an attacking round. Force it to 5-4. Potentially we have a close little game on our hands here, Matt. Can you see that happening? Or is this map 100% in Epson's favor? Mm. I think this definitely goes in, I, it's so difficult. I think it goes in Epsilon's favor, but you know, Elevate, definitely a team that can make the comeback. I mean, one big play in this round from Elevate could kill all the momentum that Epsilon has. Classic on your screens is Elevate back on the attacking side. One player watching fire. That's classic, sneaking towards that bomb. Will spot Remy, tags him up, the grenade. No good. Runs into Classic's trophy system. Classic in a good position to try and cover Saints, who is going to be planting that bomb. Challenge looks as if it's coming in, and Remy's actually just picked up two. Nice play from him. Now a two versus three. Apathy, he's going to fall, leave Slack by himself. Round over. Epsilon close it out. They go 2 0 up in the series, Matt. Didn't see this one coming. No, I actually probably would have said I thought this one could have potentially been a 3-0 in favor of Elevate, but Epsilon going into game three with a chance to close it out here be pretty, uh, pretty shocking. I can't see them closing out an uplink against Elevate on host. Yeah, you don't know. I mean, this Epsilon teams look pretty good in the first two maps. Elevate hasn't shown me much of anything. Mm, very true. Very true. As uh, controller disconnects, that's Swanee with a huge 11 and 6. Remy as well, 8 and 6. Leading the charge for Epsilon. We'll take a look at that scoreboard one more time. Nothing really shining from Elevate. And everything going right for Epsilon, really the story of map number two. For now, that quick commercial break. When we return, 
we're heading over to Uplink.